This is just a test of the actual current capacity of this piece of crap cable that was included with the equally piece of crap um, CR123A cell charger. I did a GITS video of uh, recently. We're just going to be passing current from a series of test lamps through this uh, with the uh, end with this little shorting clip made out of piece of scrap 12 gauge wire by the way this is um, don't ever do this with cables that are going to be actually plugged into mains use this is um, strictly going to be on the neutral side of a 12 volt DC system for safety purposes even then there's a risk of stuff going foom because this is piece of crap garbage cable so do not try this at home and this is the test lamp that I'm using or one of just a little 15 watt Pickers a bit just for testing purposes just to make sure that things work alright this is the test with a 50 watt lamp and you can see it right there there's a potential difference of over 5 volts of that cable with certainly less than the 4 change amperes normally be from the 50 watt lamp and it is of course war very warm to the touch just well in excess of 100 degrees Fahrenheit which is um not good oh yeah fub yeah Oh yeah, Oop. it's definitely about 110 degrees Fahrenheit, I guess. Not quite at the initial, but we are getting a smell off of it. Copper is slightly warm, but that's just conducted heat because that's total good wire as this stuff and this is stone cold. And not just because this is by a door with we can written by those heaters not in use um, at the moment, but yeah. We don't want to trust this on mains. This is the last test with a 75 watt 12 volt lamp. And as you can see from the lamp, not even warming up fully. And let's switch hands and Focus on the multimeter there, which is the potential across that cable. Yeah. Seven and a half volts at appreciably less than, um, It's uh, rated six amperes that the cables claim to be, or that the, or the six and a quarter amperes that the um, lamp would consume, and still warm. So that's safe. But then again, it's got the triple C marking, which means that it's guaranteed to kill round-eyed foreign devils. So again, Chinese garbage. What do you expect? Uh, the potential drop across the cable with the same 75 watt lamp is in series with it is now over 8 volts and it is almost too hot to touch and you can definitely feel the insulation getting soft so um wouldn't trust this really at all so you can smell it now yeah hot insulation which is not good Don't trust it at all. And just cut the thing open and those 22 gauge wires are not suitable for 6 amperes. 
Uh, you do come, you can get away with it in applications like Christmas tree lights, and that is what's used for Christmas tree lights. But those you're talking about three amperes, absolute maximum, and then that's when fuses start blowing, or the fuses and the plugs. And those are bare conductors in open air where it's cold. Um, normally, if you follow the ratings on the boxes, you'll never get above one and a half amperes at most. So. Yeah, that is not suitable for 6 amperes. Now, this does look like stuff that would be legitimate mains cord. Because they, um, I think they're Euro plugs, but over in Europe they have a standard for a plug that is good for at most 2.5 amperes for light appliances like radios, lights, etc. And um, this looks like that kind of mains cord, except the uh, hot in this case is red. And there technically you can't use that for mains hots. Um, because that's supposed to be for low potential system use, but, yeah, personally I prefer red, hot, white, neutral, which is what I use in my off-grid system, but that's just me. And you can see from this bit, which is the shorting thing, by the way, you don't ever do that to a normal means card that you're going to plug into a wall, or you're going to pull the plug up, possibly you, but yeah, that's the section of the wire. So, yeah, absolutely horrible. Okay, focus. There you go. Yeah, that's dinky crap.